kid. That, that, that tribe, yes. He better do a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> he understands the chemistry. This okay. is funny, too. It, it's very cute. Okay. And we need movies that you can go to with the whole family. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite Eddie Murphy film? Um, I, I saw I saw four minutes of a movie the other day called Coming to America, and I was captivated. Um, <laughs> but other than that, um, God, I'm a huge fan of, and this is gonna be weird. I'm a huge fan of both films. Okay. I'm one of those people that believes that it's his best movie. Steve Martin's a wonderful writer, mm -hmm. and Eddie should have gotten the best supporting actor nod in that movie. It's a great movie. When you get home, would you watch that movie again for me? I will. I will. Take it out and watch it again. You'll see what I mean. That's a good movie. You gotta talk about Black Diamond. Is that right? Uh, oh, oh. Uh, Michael Jai White. Black Dynamite. Yeah. yeah. Michael Jai White has done a wonderful movie. Like, well, you're too young, but I grew up on Shaft, Eddie Murphy, and Coffee, and Hammer, and Slaughter. He's combined that genre of film because people don't realize Black Hollywood was in trouble and saved by the black people because they were cheap. And Mr. C. W. himself. Margin, and no one talks about that. Well, he's done a parody on all those movies that saved Black Hollywood <laughs> and White Hollywood. But you will love. It. All right. You will love it. I gotta ask you know your music has to Whitney back. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about why that is just like so magical to see that. I I used to always feel like Whitney was the inner city's Barbara Streisand. Okay. And I never imagined a musical world without her. Mm -hmm. So for a minute I was mad at Bobby. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the bottom line is, <laughs> where did that come from? Uh, I'm joking, Bob. Uh, but Whitney is back, and I think she's back with Clive Davis, which I know was always a great chemistry between the two. Um, I can't wait. Remember how you felt? Remember how you rubbed your arms the day you saw Whitney used to sing Star Spangled Banner in a white warm-up suit? There is nothing like Whitney. She is it's very special, and I'm looking for this comeback. I really am. And I hope it's not just a duet with Ray J. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Last question, I promise. Last question. Now, we know that, you know, we had it done. Oh, oh, we used to have fun. We used to have, we used to have a lot of fun. It, it was an on-air playground. And there was more fun backstage at my talk show than there was in front of the camera. If you could have experienced the green room some night. As a matter of fact, the best thing from my show sometimes happened backstage. I remember one time putting Will Smith and Quincy Jones in a room. Because Quincy had an idea he wanted to talk to him about with a guy named Benny Medina. Wow. About oh, yeah. coming to L.A. and maybe living in Bel Air or Beverly Hills when you need to get away from where you're from and, and change your behavior. They called it Fresh Prince of Bel Air okay. and it worked. Sometimes backstage was magical at that show. And uh, it was a blessing. I had the opportunity to, to go out and find everybody from Bow Wow to Mariah Carey. And uh, wow. a lot in between. It, it, it was a great time, and, and I'm really happy I was the guy that got to be the ringmaster for all that. Thank you. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> In a group. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see all the other stuff. Don't disappoint me. Oh, no. Definitely not. Everything. Eddie's bringing the sun. <laughs>
Why should you see it? Why should you see it? It's very funny and it's very charming and very sweet. It's summer and it's full of explosions. Do you have any financial advice for us, viewers? Financial advice for mm -hmm. us? I don't know if we'll take financial advice. It's probably from the comments. Thank you for the RS. Oh, I love this. She's special. The is a special and Eddie, yeah. what is it like? You know, you, you're so great with these kids. You obviously have your kids. What's the draw of working with young child actors? What's the draw? Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a draw, like I'm like, a, like I'm drawn to it. Uh, uh, I noticed as I, my family started to expand, I would I would uh, respond to stories when I get different scripts, get a bunch of different things. I find myself you know, every now and then responding to something that was family oriented. So I like to throw one of those in there. Mm -hmm. Do your kids kind of have a say in like what kind of movies, what kind of like child movies that you work with or younger movies? I don't really have to say. They don't really, they don't, they don't really take the pictures. Eddie, what's the message you want uh, everyone to get from the movie? The message? Yes. I don't know if I'm trying to put a message in okay. any movies that I do. But I, I, I want people to go out and have a nice afternoon and take the picture you could bring the whole family to yeah. and you know, have a good laugh. And, that sweet little fuzzy feeling. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it rolling. We talked right. to Sherry Thank Shepherd you. and she was like, when are we going to see the raw Eddie Murphy back? Is that going to happen anytime soon? Well, like, me, like me doing stand up? Yeah, raw? yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'll ever see that guy. I wouldn't say that wow. I, would, I wouldn't do stand up again. But I don't think I'd be in a leather suit. Thank <laughs> 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 you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and Eddie, when you...